So here we are in the old town of Hoi An. Mm -hmm. It's around 30 minutes away from uh, Da Nang. And we're here to look for a really special place. Our friend Ha is going to take us there so we can relax our tired feet. Yeah. They offer a combo between drinks, like you can choose between tea or coffee and then the, the treatment to relax the feet. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. My feet are tired. <laughs> So what they're doing now is they're pouring tea, right? This is tea. Nice herb, like herb, cinnamon. Yeah, and... herb water on my feet so that you'll be relaxed while we sip some really delicious tea from Vietnam. Wow, that water is really cold. And I can feel that it's starting to relax my sore feet already. Yeah, the cold tea tonight. That's not so good. So behind me is the La Tien Thai or the tea room. And we had just had a very interesting session here. We drank tea while our feet were soaking on cold herb water. It was a perfect way to relax our very, very tired feet. And uh, this is just one of the unique things that you can do in the ancient town of Hoi An. This is basically, Hoi An itself is pretty big, but this is the ancient quarter. So it has a lot of pretty old shop houses that have been converted into um, restaurants, cafes, and uh, tailoring shops like the one behind me. Which one you want? Either one is fine. You just said the Ban Bèo. It's uh, of course a delicacy here in uh, Hoi An. And we're gonna give it a try. Oh, what is this sticky thing here? Uh, rice cake. Rice cake. Okay, so it's basically just this sauce on top of a mm. rice cake. Good? Really, really interesting taste. I mean, this is like chicharron on the top. A little bit spicy also sauce. <coughs> There's a bit of a kick there because of the spice. So we're here at Ban Mi Pong and uh, Anthony Bourdain described it as uh, the best sandwich in the world. They serve Ban Mi here which is like according to him is the best sandwich in the world and the last time we were here there was no line there was like maybe one person ahead of us but now because uh, Anthony Bourdain is no longer with us you can see the line is so long people want to remember Mr. Bourdain by going to the places which he described serve the best this or the best that so I can imagine probably Zubu Chon's clientele is uh, currently increasing because that's supposed to be the best roasted pig in the world so we're here again lining up to uh, honor Mr. Bourdain and but also basically to get the best banh mi possibly in uh, this part of Vietnam. It's uh, very interesting about this part of Hoi An, this uh, what they call the ancient quarter is that it's uh, fully pedestrianized so there are no vehicles here and the streets are pretty narrow anyway. The only ones who are allowed on the on this in this part of um, Hoi An and on the, the streets are people bicycles and uh, pedicabs or actually I think in this part of the world they call it rickshaws so that's pretty interesting uh, if you're not paying attention you could actually run into one of these rickshaws or these bicycles uh, and and, uh, it's, and that's really possible because there's lots to see here in Hoi An